what is good green gang welcome back to my channel i have got a really exciting haul for you guys today i don't think i've ever done a haul from this brand before i asked a lot of you guys on instagram if you guys would be interested and an overwhelming majority said yes so today we are doing weekday baby <laughs> yeah not one but two big bags full so yeah i'm very very excited to share with you guys some of the stuff I've got, I low-key have loved weekday for so long and didn't even realise. Like, I've been ordering their stuff off of ASOS for years and years and years. And, yeah, I just thought it was time to actually just go into the store and pick out some bits. Hopefully you guys like them and can get some inspiration from this video. Again, like I said before, let me know if there's any other brands that you guys would like to see me do this with. Um, okay, we are running against the light right now, so I'm going to get straight on into the video. So the first thing I want to show you guys I'm actually wearing, it's from Weekday's collaboration with Lee G. I have a few other pieces that they sent me actually a while back and the collaboration was really cool like really nice staple basics I feel like maybe this lighting wasn't the best idea to show you the color but obviously we'll have some cutaway shots but um yeah it's just like a really plain mauvey brown like faded uh, sweatshirt and then it's got the little logo at the bottom it's just a really nice basic and I love the tones and the color of it so I kind of needed it and this was in the sale I believe um oh I've still got the tag on it <laughs> It was 50% off, so it was £35 down from 70 which is a steal. Um, I've got it in an extra, extra large, purely because it was the only size left, but then again, not purely because of that, because I would also probably have just got it in the extra, extra large to have it super oversized. I'm 5'7", and it's kind of long enough to be a dress. I do have cycling shorts underneath it but you could definitely wear this as a dress but it's just a really cool staple piece very good for layering um because it's not too like thick and clunky and yeah just super cozy and also perfect for lockdown nice loungewear that still looks kind of somewhat put together but like cool next piece i have to share with you guys is also a jumper slash hoodie and it's like this kind of charcoal gray color i love this kind of color especially for the season what i loved about this was the slits on the sides and just the overall shape of it sorry if you can see stains i have actually worn this already but yeah the fit and the shape of this is just beautiful it's very oversized anyway i only got this in a medium because i didn't want it to be like huge but now i kind of wish i got it a little bit bigger but yeah really cute and if you're wearing like a cute skirt or cute trousers it's nice to have that little detail where they can kind of peek through yeah that's all i have to say honestly the fit of weekday pieces is just top tier it's really amazing i love this i think it's really cool very grungy again you can wear it with like cycling shorts you could also wear it with like baggy jeans make it a bit more tomboy a leather jacket over the top like an oversized leather jacket so many ways you can style this i'm just loving like staple um pieces that are quite like muted in tone obviously because my hair is pink right here but also just because it makes them super versatile hey okay, so surprise surprise we have another jumper i've seen a few like influencers wearing this style of jumper and they styled it so well and i didn't really go in with the intention of getting one of these i didn't i didn't really know what was going to be in weekday i usually shop online but i was just like i'm gonna go in store and to be honest it's a vibe like it's really fun you get a lot of inspiration from the mannequins and like seeing everything right in front of you which i need to do more but now we've entered lockdown so i guess i'll wait <laughs> obviously i got this in a large i just think it's a very cute little cozy jumper i love the fuzziness of it like the texture is beautiful again nice muted tones you can wear it with so many things and I feel like you can really dress this up if you wanted to, or you can wear it like very, very chilled as well. Like even with just tracksuit bottoms. And I love that you can zip it up and down so you can be a bit more sassy. You could maybe like layer something cute underneath it, like a bit of lace or something, or you can wear it a bit more sporty by like pulling it all the way to the top. I haven't actually tried this on yet, so I'm excited to try this on. I feel like it's gonna be perfect and fit well because well, that's just what weekday does. Okay guys, this haul has been sitting in one of my drawers for a couple of weeks and i kind of forgotten what was in here. So when I took it out today, I was obviously so excited to see the stuff that I'd got that I had to put the jumper on straight away. But I feel like I am in love with everything I got from weekday. So the next piece is this Borg or faux shirling, I suppose. Shirt, shacket, I don't know what you call it. I don't think it's a shacket, I don't think it's that thick, but how sick is that? I don't think it does it justice just holding it up like this, but when you guys see it on, not that I've tried it on yet, but I feel like it's gonna look sick. It's gonna be really warm and cozy, but it's really nice and thin, so it'll be really good for layering as well. I think this will look cool so many ways, like with a hoodie underneath it, or just like a cute, I don't know, a more feminine style top underneath it, and then you can juxtapose that with the more boyish cut of this i do think this was in the men's section also it's very long i did get it in a large though but it's quite long so i feel like you could get away with it as a shirt dress which would be quite interesting i don't think i've ever seen a shirt dress in this kind of material or texture before and it's just so like 
Ooh, I love it. It's so cute and I love the bright colour of it. I feel like I shouldn't have used this pink light. But um, very cute. It's got nice little popper buttons and I love that they are like a matte creamy white to kind of blend into this. It's just a really nice way to do it and I think it makes it look a bit more expensive. I can't wait to style this. I feel like I want to do it with like a really cute like little girly top and a cute skirt and then like maybe some tights, maybe not. And boots or trainers. Ah, oh, I'm just so excited to style this up and just generally try it on. <laughs> All right, I am a sucker for tie-dye. I really, in particular, love this design because it kind of ties together like stripes with tie-dye in some weird kind of way because it's very like, I don't know, it's neat, you know? It's um, kind of got a pattern to it, which I really like. The tones, again, are beautiful, like creams, nudes, browns, blacks, kind of everything I'm going for right now. We've got a lovely high neck, which is great. I think I got this in a large also. I have been queen of oversizing lately like i'm just obsessed with like a baggier fit i just think it looks really cool and it's also like just so much more comfortable yeah again love the material the texture is lovely it's ribbed and then it's got the tie down top which i think adds a little spice and just there is so 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 many ways you can style this and it'd be really great like layered under stuff as well like under a plain i don't know black sweatshirt or something just having the collar peek out and maybe the sleeves peek out It'd be great under that shirt that i just showed you guys and again you can make this quite masculine but you can also make it very feminine so i can't wait to try this stuff on to be honest <laughs> okay so the next piece is a little bit strange something i haven't really seen before but i was intrigued okay it's basically like some kind of scarf i suppose as you guys can see it just kind of flaps open so you would literally just place it on top like that they had loads of different styles of these kind of things they had one that was more of like a puffer jacket -y material not so puffy though with a hood yeah they had loads of different styles i realized that this does actually look a little bit similar to the other jumper i got but obviously you would style this differently i feel like this would look really cool over like a white shirt or like white shirt dress i have no idea how else i would style this right now i don't even know if that would look good but I'm excited to give it a go and I think it's a really cool kind of take on a scarf. Cool accessory to have. I don't think I've seen anyone else doing this so props to Weekday for the innovation. Uh, we'll see. I'll try and style it in the cutaway. Let me know what you thought because I, I mean I don't know what you guys are expecting yet but hopefully it will be good. Moving on to accessories, I got some hats. I got four hats. I keep getting hats you guys. I'm obsessed. I don't even, how am I going to wear a hat? Tell me, please, unless I straighten my hair, which I'm trying not to do. I had to get these beanies because the texture, you guys, I can't remember what kind of knit this said it was. I think maybe a lotus knit? It's called a lotus beanie. Maybe it's not a lotus knit. Anyway, the texture of these is stunning. I've never seen that kind of knit before, I don't think. Not in a hat anyway. And it's that kind of fisherman style, I think, where it's quite tight and small, but I really, really like that style of beanie. And the quality just feels really good. It feels like it's gonna hold its shape really, really well. And the colours are just really nice, like a really cute grey, like this is the perfect grey and then the perfect khaki where it's not too like olivey, you know, it's like muted, dark, almost like a cross between forest and khaki. And yeah, be great to keep your noggin warm in the winter. Then I got two caps. First up we have the Borg Sherling style cap, which would look really cool with the shirt, a bit of matchy matchy, you know. I don't really have much to say. I just thought it was so cute. Hopefully it will fit my head well because caps can be a little bit funny for me, but I just thought if this works, it could be very cute. <laughs> and then for the other cap, classic leather. I just feel like this is such an old school look. It kind of gives me Fresh Prince vibes, but it's also quite like vintage inspired, I suppose. And I just think it's very cool, especially if you get the outfit right. I have, again, no idea how I'm going to do this, but I feel like even with just like a plain jumper like this or... You know those kind of like vintage, like varsity style jumpers, something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll see. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes socks can be very important to an outfit. So I had to get these. I love them. I thought these would look so cool, like sticking out of a pair of chunky Air Force or my all black Air Max 95s. I really think would look amazing with these with bare legs or... I don't know how else you would do it with maybe like a slip dress or something, you know, make it a bit more tomboy. -y. Um, I just needed, I needed the socks. They don't, they're not even my size. They're size 43 to 45. I'm a size 39. That's how badly I needed them. Okay. So I got a bag. 
Initially I saw a smaller one in black and I was like, well, I have so many bags. It's kind of reminiscent of the Prada one because it's nylon. So I got it in this really beautiful like tan beige color. It's a very nice like simple basic bag that I think will add an edge to like loads of outfits. It's got this really cool like ring belt detailing for the strap and it's a really good size as well. And I just think it adds a little something, something. You can wear it with the buckle detail at the back or you can wear it with the buckle detail at the front to add a little bit of extra zhuzh, a little bit of extra pizzazz. <laughs> I don't know, it's just very cute and I'm obsessed, with, I, I forgot everything I bought, I can't wait to try this all on and style it for you guys, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on, I got two more things and then that is it. I feel like this was the quickest haul ever. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've been obsessed with jewellery for such a long time, but quite frankly I haven't had the money to invest in like actual solid metals like solid gold or silver jewellery and for a while I was like oh there's no point in me getting any jewellery like costume jewellery because it just goes green or it, it like the colour fades and then it just looks really like uh, cheap and horrible but now I'm just like do you know what accessorise your shit and do you know what when you're showering just when you're washing your hands just take the jewellery off it's really not that hard so I got this necklace I don't know why it reminded me of okay any family guy fans out there will know about oh squiggly, oh, squiggly line, line right for some reason it reminded me of that so i just needed to have it and i just thought it's i don't know a very like unique design it'll be a really cute layering piece as well in fact i feel like i need to put it on right now i just loved it and i feel like if you wrapped it around your arm a few times it could actually make quite a cool bracelet as well oh <laughs> fail give that another go oh yes 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 look how cute oh it's so pretty it's so like dainty and feminine fe feminine and pretty oh my gosh these guys i'm wearing contacts and i feel like i look like a reptile so i'm sorry if you guys have been scared for this entire video how pretty is that oh i'm obsessed that was a good decision and then okay for the last piece i got a chain belt and yeah i got it in silver i've been so into gold lately but when i was younger i was like super into silver and it was the only color jewelry i'd wear and then recently i really got into gold and now i'm like we can do a bit of mix and match again i used to be like the biggest metal mixer ever that sounds like i'm a dj a heavy metal dj or something um and yeah i just completely fell out of it but i'm like why why not mix up and match the metals but i thought this would look so cool and just sick with so many things such a nice belt that yeah you can make it look really really grungy and like skatery and tomboy or it could look super super feminine and pretty and like dainty and delicate over like a satin like slip dress or something like that you know give them girly but rock star just so many different things you could do with this which is very cool and I feel like you could make it into a bag strap as well because it's got two little clippy bits so you could make it into like a really cool bag strap but I just feel like it's very cool you could literally tie it around your waist so many different ways you could clip it so that you've got a bit dangling down at the side at the front you could wrap it around a couple of times so it's literally just tight around your waist and I just love that you can wear it like round your hips like lower down up actually around your waist if you wanted to cinch it in a little bit more it's just gonna look so cool with so many things so I'm very excited anyway guys that is it for my weekday haul I cannot wait to style these pieces up I hope you guys are all doing really really well I hope lockdown isn't too stressful for you guys. I did say on my Instagram stories the other day that my DMs are open. If I can help you guys out in any way, like in terms of emotional support or anything like that, then I'm here for you guys. You guys have helped me out so, so much. I feel like it is the least that I can do. And also you can just comment on my videos. I'll be doing my best to try and reply to everybody, but obviously it can be time consuming, but please know that I do read all of your messages and I appreciate every single one of you so, so, so much. I'm so excited to be back, you guys. Like. I feel like I've got my zest for life back. Hopefully I can, I don't know, create a sense of escapism for you guys during a tough time or inspire you guys to start a channel. I don't know, just help you guys out in some way because you guys have helped me out so much and I love and appreciate you. Anyway, I'm gonna stop getting all soppy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you wanna see next and I will see you guys soon. Until next time, bye. Mwah.